Well, hello, children. I'm going to give you some more uh, career advice, especially for you younger people who are going to go and deal with older bosses. Uh, today is going to be the, well, then do it yourself uh, kind of mentality. Um, now, unless you're in engineering or very, not very precise, an exactly 100% precise career, like engineering, accounting, uh, even accounting is, uh, you can use different methods, and it's not exactly 100% mathematically correct. In other words, what I'm trying to convey to you is like, think back to middle school, where you had your worthless English teacher nitpicking things and correcting you because you didn't write good, or she didn't like the way the protagonist didn't do blah, blah, blah. In other words, because English and the art and writing is amorphous, uh, whoever is judging your performance uh, can make a BS. They can, uh, if they don't like your personality, they can cowardly hide behind some kind of criticism and come up with an excuse to make it seem rational or legitimate because they're the authority, they're the English teacher, they're the professor, whatever it is. Um, whereas what I loved about math, uh, regardless of the subject, is me and my teacher could hate each other. And there really weren't that many instances, probably because math teachers are pretty much legit and on the up and up and more truthful and honest. Uh, but let's say I did have a math teacher that hated my guts. What's great about math is uh, it doesn't matter how much you and your teacher or your authority figure hate one another. If you get it right, you're right. Because math is finite. It's precise. 100% precise to the decimal point. So that kind of uh, analogy is going to play itself out again in the real world when you go and you get yourself a job. So I wanted to kind of point this out to uh, some of you younger people uh, when you're going for a job or when you're trying to find your employer uh, that works best for you you want to find an employer uh, that in instances where your labor or your work is a bit more amorphous in nature that they give you a little bit of leeway uh, to hit the mark that they're not going to be like your English English teacher making up crap and saying oh you didn't do a good job because I don't like nah, 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 nah. Uh, now, if you're an engineer or an accountant, I guess that's a uh, you don't have to worry about this. But I believe everybody, uh, to a certain extent, in all their jobs, has to worry about this amorphous aspect of their career. Um, but it, in general, for those of you in the sciences and STEM fields, you don't have to worry about this too much because, like, if you programmed your formula correctly and the rocket hit the moon like you predicted it would, then who the hell's going to argue with you about Newtonian physics? You and your, your senior supervisor could hate each other, but you got that rocket on the moon. So, uh, Now, like I said before, uh, most people don't have a job as simple as that. We have to have some kind of report, there's some kind of writing, there's some kind of English or communications or a presentation that is made, and you're going to have some old boss who has it in their mind precisely exactly what they want, and they are going to give you some general guidelines for you to try to go and achieve that. Now, what will happen more often than not, because more often than not, your average middle-aged, older, and older boss is incompetent and inept, uh, they are going to fail to convey precisely what they want. And even if they do convey to the best of their, uh, their abilities, as much detail as they want. Now they've entered into the worm of micromanaging. In other words, what's going to happen is there will be more uh, a majority in the instances. Uh, it'll be an impossible situation. They have something in their mind that's very precise. They don't want to do it. And they're going to outsource that and have someone like you or me or some younger person do it. And when you, to the best of your ability, come up with it, write that report, write this research, do that, whatever, calculate those statistics. They're going to say, no, 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 you did it wrong. Why don't you, why didn't you, and they'll, they'll be pissed about it. They'll be very upset because you couldn't read their mind. Why didn't you do it? Well, why didn't you, it was so plainly obvious you should have done it, and it isn't. Now, inevitably, this gets to the point where you want to say, you know what? Go fuck yourself and do it yourself. And I think I, uh, convey that to many different people who may be watching this are previous bosses. But I ran into this a lot in banking where um, I'm an underwriter or a credit analyst. We are supposed to write a report. We crunch the numbers. So there's a mathematical side to it. And even that was criticized. Even that was like, well, why'd you do it that way? Uh, because that's the most logical. Why does it? Well, then go to hell because you are obviously doing it the wrong way. But then when it came to the words and the writing and the reports, uh, there would always be the complaint, well, you're a little harsh, or I don't know if I agree with that. 
So once again, we get into this trap of an amorphic topic we're dealing with, an amorphic project in, in terms of the language. Uh, so here, here's the general rule because, you know, you, me, other younger people, our lives are short, we're finite, and it's too short to be pissing away with people who are going to nitpick every little thing because they're too lazy to do it themselves. And uh, you'll be able to tell this because they'll always, you'll try your best. And, and if you know you're good, you know it. And if you try your best, you know it. You know, and do a sloppy effort. You put together a decent report or whatever it is that you may have put together. They'll still come back and nitpick about things that you know are irrelevant. Or you're like, really? Who's going to really, for the purposes and the, uh, the consequences of this report, I think it, you know, it suffices. It'll serve the purpose just fine. So when you run into bosses like that, or you know, people of authority, and they're nitpicking small things, quit. Just quit. Go on welfare. Do whatever you got to do. Just get out of there. Because this person uh, is so controlling and so micromanaging, which most of them are, that there's no way, in other words, you're, you're chartered, you are, 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 are given the responsibility of achieving an impossible job. To write, to read minds, that's exactly it. You're supposed to read their mind and spit it out. Well, nobody can read minds, and the most efficient way is for these old farts to do it themselves. So, to all you old farts, now this, I'm talking to the old farts now, not, not the young kids. If you want us young kids, young kids, I'm almost 40, <laughs> if you want us younger people to exactly write what you think the thing should be, go to hell. We're not going to do it. Because we can't. It's not an issue of us not liking you, although we probably don't like you. Uh, we can't read your mind, and we're not going to replicate the exact same report. So if you want certain thing, I only have like, a way. You know what? Be an English teacher and write the goddamn report yourself. Okay? We're done. Um, and I'm hoping more, you know my videos are converting more people to being done. We're not going to deal with this crap anymore. Try to outsource. You know, that, that's the whole idea of managing. There's an element of delegation where you say, you know what? I need this thing achieved. And if you really are going to have so many fingers on it, so many strings attached to that project, attached to the final outcome, that you are now criticizing the person. I mean, really, I've gotten criticized for, well, I got criticized for using the word glut. Um, you know, if that's the extent you guys, uh, this was during the housing crisis. So of course, there was no glut of housing there. No, oh, glut, uh, literally the dude says, glut is, has the Latin base of gluttony, which is one of the seven original sins or the seven deadly sins. And it's just this middle-aged baby boomer retard. So, um, in any case, if you're to that level, you know what? Write the goddamn report yourself. Do the goddamn project yourself. Or, or, you outsource you delegate and say, you know what, it ain't perfect, but this will this will suffice for the flux capacitor. This will get us back to 1985. You know that this will do the job. Because if if and you know and if you can't do that, then you know what, don't ha don't hire anyone. Do everything on your own. Don't waste young people's times like myself, younger people than me. Don't even bother hiring us because it ain't going to work. If you're that controlling that you need to go and, and, and nitpick and ding, 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 okay, fine. You know what? Just, just do it yourself, okay? Because, uh, you know, it, it, see how well that works? You know, because you're, you're going to waste just as much time uh, telling us how we're doing it wrong. And it's not even wrong. That, 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 actually, that, that's incorrect, uh, how you don't like it. That's, there's a key difference there. We don't do it wrong. We've been doing it right this entire time. You've given plenty of people uh, 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 younger than you some kind of um, complex, and now I'm undoing that, that psychological brainwashing that you've given them. We've been doing it right this entire time. And I don't know if it's out of evil or some kind of controlling mechanism or the fact that you just can't let go and let people do their jobs, get this shit done, and move and progress the economy forward, uh, or you have some kind of control freak issue. I don't know what, and I, you know what, I don't care. It's not really my, well, we've given up. We're done, you know. Uh, we're not working. We're not paying the taxes anymore. We're not going to help you out with your social security. So, you know, you can either work with us and say, hey, you know what, this is the plan we got. These are the employees we got. And uh, this is what we need to get by. And uh, we like these standards coming out of the reports, and there you go. Someone provides a great report. It's accurate. It assesses things great. It does what it's supposed to do. If you don't like it, do it yourself then. Just do it yourself. Um, but if you can let go a little bit and step back and say, huh, 
I know I'm old and my brain is starting to get Alzheimer's and I, well, maybe you don't know you're getting it. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe you are getting Alzheimer's. You don't realize how inept and incompetent managers you are. Uh, but if you could step back and say, you know what? Hmm. In the grand scheme of things, whether he uses the word glut or oversupply, whether they use exclamation points or dot, 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 you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe these, th these reports, this work, this produce will achieve you know, the original or the overall goal. And us arguing and nitpicking uh, uh, on the margins is really just grinding things to a halt. And maybe our anal retentiveness and our old fogey, Hey, you don't like that word! Hey, take name it! Don't you know that when the Apostle Paul wrote to the Corinthians or the Ephesians or whatever people ending with ins that he wrote to, he didn't use that word because it was shin. Shin, damn you to hell. I mean, you one of those guys? Yeah, I think maybe it's time for retirement. Maybe you ought to clock out. So uh, maybe let the younger generation take over because I know you guys have done a shittacular job of managing this country. So. Uh, in any case, uh, but getting back to the uh, intended audience, the people that really matter, the younger folk, um, if you run into that type of boss, you're not gonna you're not gonna survive. Uh, you're not gonna be able to achieve your best because you know you could have built the DeLorean time machine from Back to the Future, and you got some aging baby boomer douche lecturing you about the color and the paint. I mean, we're like, dude, it like time travels. Like, what the fuck? Like, this thing goes back in time, and you're worried about the big... Dang, dang, tickly, name it! We didn't have gray cars in our day! Henry Ford said you get black, black, and black! Choose your color! Dang, name it, cunt, if it's stuffer! All right, so, um... Those guys you don't want to work for, it's a pretty much guarantee you should probably quit your job. I I'm being deadly sure it's going well for a live off the... Live off the old farts who, like, have the positions of power and make a hundred grand... They're paying so much in taxes, live off of it. If they ain't gonna like, if they're gonna get so technical, and they'll give you the BS, they'll give you the thing like, well, you young generations, they're just not responsible like us. Oh yeah, because you hippies back in the 60s and 70s were the epitome of responsible. Right. So, um, you know, seriously, if you're a hard worker, you're legit, you know, you're honest with yourself, you know that you're trying your best, you are doing your best, and, and, and the other thing, Try and, and and do is another thing, but whether you actually achieve. If you know that your product is good, and you've been humble enough to put yourself in a like, show, hey, hey, th is the product really good? You all know for a fact, but nine out of ten times it is. It, it achieves the results and the, the requirements of what your uh, boss said. And if it does that and your boss still gives you shit, fuck him. Quit. Get out. Live on the system. Live of can't take nothing, Snapple. We watch Leave It to Beaver. We demand the exact same complaints. And conf Read my mind, you Gen X and Gen Y morons. Live off of that guy. Make them pay the taxes. Go, you know, go become a ski bum or something. So, in any case, just want to address that. Want to make sure that, you know, these people, you know, give that to say, hey, you know what, Mac? Do it yourself. Okay? I can't read your mind. Do it yourself. Great response. Um, and then, you know, let's all go have some fun. Live off of the contank, sniffly, snaggly old farts. Toodles.